It would have been an even match, for though Corin had longer arms and more height, the dwarf was older and tougher. But it was never fought out. That's the worst of fights on a rough hillside. For by very bad luck, Thornbutt trod on a loose stone, came flat down on his nose, and found when he tried to get up that he had sprained his ankle, a really excruciating sprain which would keep him from walking or riding for at least a fortnight. Is your left arm wounded? asked Edmund. It's not exactly a wound, Peter said. I got the full weight of his shoulder on my shield, like a load of bricks, and the rim of the shield drove into my wrist. I don't think it's broken, but it might be a sprain. If you could tie it up very tight, I think I could manage. What is not good? Hutsu demanded. We came to kill the leech. It is his death that matters, not the dirt where his blood drains out. The flea ignored her. Sig, he said, voice calm, quiet. Can you hold here till nightfall? There was a long silence as the leech took stock of some context known only to herself. Valin could feel the sun on his face. It was low in the sky, maybe an hour until dusk. Sigrid must have made some sign in reply because the flea grunted. Good. Don't die. She rasped out a few syllables. I'll tell you when it's time to make our stand. And this isn't it, the flea said. Buy us time, but not with your life. <laughs> 